Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left hand corner, we have Sone as this, uh, the color I don't like. I'll, that's what it shall be named from now on. <laughs> the color I don't like. It's kind of like yellow, it's kind of like green. I don't know. Bottom left hand corner, we have Style as the yellow Protoss. Puke. That's a good word for it. Puke from Twitch chat. Puke green. Uh, let's go ahead and clear that out. Whoever wins this advances. This is BSL Hasu League. Round of eight between Style and Sone. This is the fifth and final match. Whoever wins this advances to round of four. And I'm gonna, I'll admit a little bit of bias between these two guys, not because of favoritism or anything like that. I just, <laughs> I wanna see Style advance because I, TVT can be brutal to cast. And if I had to do a long series of TVT, it would just take a long time. So I'm kind of hoping, I'm kind of hoping that Style might advance. And I, but I think it's anybody's game. I really think that anybody could take this match. The Sone, his timing builds have really been on point. His engagements, once he has just, you give him, it feels like you give him like even five seconds to establish any sort of front, and he's going to make that a lock. Where you are not going to get back out of that. Almost like a boa constrictor sort of thing, where it's like as soon as it's got that wrap, it's done. Style, comparatively, his macro has really been on point, and he's really been able to adjust. I feel like going for that three gate opener. I'm almost wondering if he's going to go for a three gate opener again, considering all of the, the timing pushes that he's been up against thus far. Seems like he favors more that one gate into expand with Robo style. But I feel like if he does that in this match, it might be playing right into Sone's hands. Refinery, barracks along the corner. We aren't going to see it's not super necessary, but I don't think we're going to see an early Zealot because we see that assimilator, and also we haven't seen that thus far out of Sone at large. It's actually kind of surprising because I and it looks like Sone is it looks like sorry Style is going to get that first scout off, going to the upper left hand corner first. This is on BSL Aid Runner by the way, which has this feature of those Zerg eggs on the front door, which makes those front doors a little bit more exposed, which again might play into Sone's style if he decides to go for a little bit more rushy aggressy, rushy rushy aggressy, rushing rushing and aggressive. <laughs> uh, SCVs trying to push that probe back. Looks like that SCV scout comparatively is going to be able to sneak back in. So I've been to score no zealot to get that dragoon out a little bit faster. I think Style likes eating that dra dragoon out right off the bat so he can kind of put his opponent into the dark and try to play from there. But initial factory, we do see looks like two SCV on gas, which I think can go either way. I think Style saw that. But I, I still think that it might, considering the past history here, weapons... Oh, wow! Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. So he is showing the Cybernetics Core spinning. He is actually showing weapons one, though. Which means he's probably going for some sort of... I don't think that's a misclick. He's indicating as though he's going for Dragoon range, when he's probably opting for DTs or something along that, along those lines. We'll see once this Dragoon pops out and takes care of that SCV, what he's up to. So showing... Showing as though he's going range, canceling it immediately, blocking everything off. Citadel of a Dune, definitely, probably going for a DT rush. Factory Machine Shop. And depending on the consistency of the army from Sone, whether it is more vulture heavy with mines, etc., etc., this is going to be more in Styles' favor, I think. And actually, maybe going for a DT drop. Citadel of a Dune ro with Robo. We're not seeing additional tanks being produced, though. Critically. Well, let's see once we hit 50. Okay, there's the tank. But Style only producing two Marines lifting off his barracks. He almost looks like he's opting to go for one factory into expand. Kind of the bread and butter of Terran. Yeah, and he's actually building that command center in the upper corner. It is very possible that if he builds an engineering bay that he will be able to defend this. We'll see. Two Dragoons out in the front, kind of as a ploy to kind of act like he's going to go ahead and go for that natural expansion. Additional gateway. R R Robo is up. There's the Templar Archives about two-thirds finished. There's the Engineering Bay. So the question is, is will Sone have good turret coverage to deal with the inevitable Dark Templar that will be in his base? And keep in mind, not just Dark Templar, Dark Templar drop. Probe hanging out the 9 o'clock. Gonna have a pylon there to blockade that out, just in case. No shuttle yet. Okay, now the shuttle being built. Two Dark Templars, so it's gonna be double DT drop. And here's the thing. 
Sone does not have a lot of units. Period. Because he's gone for this two, two build. Zealot able to wipe that out. And I think that has to be an indicator to Sone that something's up. Because I think he got forward enough that he should have seen. So this is just two tanks and two marines to deal with two Dark Templar. And two Dark Templar can cover a lot of territory. That missile turret is being built. And that will provide some detection. But keep in mind, he's going to need to defend all of this. That was probably a little bit annoying for people on screen. That, that might have got a, caused a little bit of a who knows what. Dark Templar moving into position to kind of speed things up as far as being able to get into drop position. I think that's why that probe is at 9, just to make sure nothing was there. They might even be able to drop off and take care. They're trying to free up... Uh, so this is, yeah, three siege tanks, two marines. They might actually be able to get on that turret before Sona's is even able to react. And a Nexus being plopped down behind this with an armory. So it's going to come down to some micromanagement and maybe a little bit of luck, both directions. This engineering bay is going to be able to see the shuttle incoming. Does Sone react in time? Shuttle dropping. One Dark Templar down. Working on that engineering. SCV's pulling off to try to group repair. They do not keep it up. Now the SCV's going to start bleeding quite literally. Or I guess more like exploding? Exploding quite literally. Nothing to provide detection. Trying to get that second turret up. All Sone has to do is walk up and take care of it though. Wow. Yeah, I think that might be game. I think the Invisible Men have done it. And here's the thing. Even if he manages to get a commsat station up, which uh, is going to take a while because he doesn't have, have an academy. It looks like he's trying to build some slow build some turrets forward, but just bleeding SCVs. That is 12 kills already. Plus additional turrets. Oop. Did have another... Oh, does manage to take care of the Dark Templar now. But here's the thing. Still despite all of this, disrupted a whole lot of mining, got 12 SCV kills, and establishes natural expansion. And is ahead in supply overall, might even be able to take his fourth. Plus, because there's no vultures and there's no mines and no mobile detection, those Dark Templar also provide a degree of map control. That shuttle escaped alive, so someone still has to worry about that shuttle. And still sitting on one factory. So I feel like Sone is a little bit disrupted here. Game is not over yet. Level 1 weapons upgrading. Some Dragoons and Zealots hanging out in the front. Additional gateways being plopped down. I think he's gotten range. Getting, he's going to go ahead and get Zealot leg speed to follow this up and an Observer. And I think with map control, it looks like he's positioning to maybe take a fourth base. Or a third base. We'll see. Might opt for a third. I think if Style just continues to macro this, he's going to be in a good position in the mid game. Still no Ooh, careful observer. Does it die? It survives with one hit point. First vulture up and out, and I don't think it has mines. Upgraded yet. I might have missed that upgrade. 31 SCVs to 33 probes, comparatively. I think Sone has to do something to get back in this match. Also, decent map vision for style to follow this up. I like that drop play, considering how wide open this map is towards the main. Dragoon's starting to move out. This is a pretty decent Sim City, plus that high ground advantage and plenty of tanks to defend that. Second factory with second machine shop. And I think Soen is just going to back up and go for, I assume, that level 2 weapons, level 1 armor attack from here. As best he can, considering all of the damage and attacks. Shuttle moving up again with a single Dark Templar this time. Might be able to take that turret down. Might even be able to get up in that SCV line again. Yeah, actually just finding that corner. Pro checking out that 12 o'clock location. I was wondering if that was proxy. So, Compsat station here to provide some support, but the thing is, is once you get there and you drop that Compsat, you can just scoop that DT right back up in that shuttle. So there it is. Does he scoop it? No. Okay, so that gets wiped out. So not a lot accomplished there. A little bit of annoyance, but not much else. Able to damage an Observer. With all of those units out of position, the Overcommit, he's going to dive in the natural expansion. He's going to get some Siege Shanks, and the Zealots actually breaching everything. And actually, Sone not doing himself any advantages, because those Zealots were able to march right up into the main with that cleared front door. Siege Shanks unseached here, and honestly, this amount of Siege Shanks should be able to defend this, particularly with the SCVs to follow. But this is still additional units getting picked off, and Protoss is usually happy to do this sort of exchange. Zealots wandering away, getting boxed out by the SCVs, wandering their way across. Still going to get additional siege tank kills. So there's only a single siege tank left. Oof. 
And still units flooding through. Zone should be able to defend this. Yeah, does defend this, but he lost all of his standing army. And more Zealots are making their way across. So more SCVs are going to have to provide some linebackering. The Zealots are going to just go ahead and wander and do some annoying damage here while the rest of the SCVs blockade. So Zone's natural expansion is no longer producing. And Style getting further and further ahead in this match. Yeah, nice. The Zealots forcing that command center to be lifted off, so he's just going to go ahead and back out. 6 o'clock base in position to be taken. It looks like that Nexus at the Mineral only has already been established. And style looking good at the 10 minute, well, 10 minute 45, almost 11 minute mark. Working on that level 1 army does not have a second armory down even, I don't think. Popping down additional factories in that upper corner. And I think this is kind of the, well, I guess I'll have to go for some sort of factory push at this stage. I'll just try to do what I can, right? I think that's his mentality at this stage of things. Some vultures have managed to skirt out on the map. They might be able to get something done at the na at the mineral only. Zealots can actually zealot bombing on top of these siege tanks, continuing to, to find room to get on top of these siege tanks. No siege tank taken out just yet. Through a little bit of a, I think that was just kind of like I'll drop them and forget it sort of thing. Does damage them and provides a little bit of disruption, but not a lot accomplished. Well, that was happening though. Some vultures able to get at least three kills between a lot of them at the mineral only. And the probes sneaking back in the main. They, that should be cleaned up in not too long. As soon as the uh, observer gets down there with the rest of the dragoons. Here's the thing. Style doing this has been not keeping up with his macro. So even though he's had more macro, even though he's had more bases established, he's actually behind in his overall supply count and actually even in the overall probe count. Despite all that harassment. So the game actually might be able to swing back in Stone's favor. Despite all of the damage that Style's done at this stage, things still might swing back in his favor. However, the longer this game continues, the more it will move... Again, it kind of like at the end of last match. The longer this game goes, the more it will swing to Style's favor. Level 1 weapons is upgrading. Citadel of the Dune... Sorry, Arbitral Tribunal warping in to get Arbiters out there. And I think he's going to have level 1 weapons not too long after level 1 weapons has been upgraded. So it's going to be level 1 weapons, level 1 armor versus just this. And I think Sone does have a window here. I think he realizes with the lack of reinforcements coming across, he's like, actually, no, I might be able to kill you. It's going to come down to micromanagement here. This is actually a significant army from Sone, and he does have a shuttle. Honestly, if I was Sone right here, I might just pull everything. Pull all my SCVs, everything, and try to just finish it here. So now this is almost turning into, okay, I'm going to do a slow factory push. This is almost like that two factory push we saw in game two. And he's going to careen forward with a huge army of vultures, try to establish the front, move the dragoons back, establish position. And a single goliath pushing that shuttle out of position. Vultures continuing to push down. This is not a lot of dragoons. Yeah, just not a lot of dragoons. And I think Zone, despite everything, might take this match. It's not over yet. He's established a big foothold at Styles' natural expansion. There is a siege tank exposed. It's getting taken out. The Goliath getting a kill. And continuing to press forward. The probes actually evacuating out of the main. Dark Templar somehow managed to sneak in there to get on top of the siege tanks. But I think it's too little too late. I think Sone's done it. He's breached the natural. He'll be able to clean up the rest of everything in the bottom right corner if he continues to reinforce and continues to build. Still might be able to, to win this. Maybe some DTs with some mind drags. Unfortunately, that TT getting wiped out. We'll see. More reinforcements waiting to support this. That nexus at the mineral only has been taken out. All the probes cleared out the natural. So Styles is down to two base, and that's basically two base versus two base as far as just raw production goes. That pylon is going to prevent any additional expansion being placed there, but it doesn't matter. Sone has a pretty strong contain. Now the siege tanks regathering. They're going to go ahead and wander up. They don't even need to siege. They just need to take that cannon out. Pr produce from there. And look at... You can just see on the minimap all of the reinforcements flooding through. Not over, but not looking good for style. Not looking good at all. Probes 
just in a panic here in that back corner, trying to make their way back across. Another pro. I'm wondering if he's just going to try to sneak an expansion to try to get back into this. Some dragoons and zealots making their way along the line. They might. This is a sizable enough army. They might be able to clear this out, but this is a lot of vultures to make their way through, and a lot of siege tanks there as well. The zealots are gone. The dragoons are gone. There's GG from Style, and Sone's done it through his classic. Just slow push positioning. He managed to take a dire situation, I'll be honest. He was not looking good. And just keep up with his macro, keep persistent, and just close it out. He is going to advance, and it is well-deserved. Great series overall, I gotta say. Really back and forth. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We, uh, I'm not sure how much more. I'll talk to chat about this the rest of the time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll close it off for YouTube here. Thank you for listening. Again, check out BSL's mainline casts. And if you've been keeping up with this series, uh, thank you for doing so. Thank you for listening.